All right, stop. If you have a lifestyle vlogging channel or you are looking to start a lifestyle vlogging channel in 2021, this is going to be the only thing you need. This right here is the Mobo iVlog UC vlogging kit with the wireless microphone, the most budget-friendly vlogging kit out there because it's kind of like you get two in one. So if you are a phone vlogger, a cell phone vlogger, or both like me, this is going to be perfect for you. So let's dive into exactly what's included. First up, we have the LED 30 light, which has 30 ultra bright LEDs with the bulb temperature between 3200 Kelvin and 5200 Kelvin. If you have no idea what that means, basically it emits between a warm white light to a day white light. So it kind of gives like a yellowish tone to a bluish tone. You also have an easy to access on off switch and on the other side, the brightness setting, which has a low, medium and high setting, making this perfect for nighttime vlogging or if you're just vlogging in dark spaces. I also love how slim this is and the fact that the batteries are not needed as it's rechargeable and comes with a micro USB cable for charging. It also has the shoe mount which is perfect for attaching it to any rigs if you have a camera or the Movo Smart Grip that comes with this kit. Which brings me right to the Smart Grip mount that I am absolutely in love with. I usually will have a mini tripod style holder which can feel bulky especially if you have smaller hands like I do. So the fact that this is is just like a single almost monopod I love it also comes with an easy to adjust wrist strap so it's less likely to drop from your hand I drop my phone all the time so I love having a wrist strap on especially when I have a mount like this and the mount itself actually has a no slip grip handle with a no slip grip material and grooves inside the mount so your phone fits in there super nice and it's less likely to slip out and then of course I just love the level to help ensure your frame is always straight. I hate it when like you seem straight but then your background's kind of crooked so the levels will help you with that and they do have two levels so if you are shooting in vertical for like Instagram or TikTok or if you're shooting horizontal for YouTube videos you will always have a perfectly straight frame. Okay, so next up is the wireless microphone system. And you guys, let me tell you, when I say this is compact, this thing is so compact and it fits so nice into my phone. I usually will do a shotgun mic, but I have been in love with this microphone system. So it does have a lapel mic. It comes with a traveling case. You have a clip-on transmitter. You also get a wireless USB-C receiver that plugs directly into your phone that works with your Android as well. And you get two lavalier clips, which makes it perfect for clipping on to your shirt so you can bring the microphone even closer to you, making it an even crisper sound. I don't think crisper is a word, but an even more crisp sound is what I meant to say. But I just love how sleek this looks. And again, I have used different lavalier mics before, and this is so crisp. Like the sound quality is so good. You guys will hear in just a second. But before I show you that sound quality, I wanted to let you know about the last piece of this, which is the MBT1 tripod that has an extender. And when I say this thing is sturdy, this thing is sturdy. I have definitely had tripods that have completely slipped. I've had them fall off the counters. I have broken lenses because of other brands tripods. So I get really nervous when it's a smaller one like this. And and I made sure this bad boy could hold up and it can. It is fully adjustable and it can support up to 11 pounds. And I tested it out by pushing down on it when it was up in a higher position and it never slipped once. So if you are looking for something a little more sturdy, I'm not gonna call out any other brands, but this is going to be a really good one for you. It also has a travel case that has a side clip as well. So this will make it super easy when you're traveling or you have a camera bag or anything, you can just kind of hook it onto the outside and then you can pull it out whenever you need to and just quickly assemble it and vlog with it. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and test the kit with some wind noise. So when I went out to the strip yesterday, of course that would have been the perfect place to test the audio, but for some reason, 
it just was not pairing and I think it was my fault I couldn't find the pairing pin I ended up leaving it at home and it just was not connecting so I would say if you are taking this out make sure you connect it before you start to do whatever and also double check that you have that pin with you because you will need the pairing pin if for any reason the receiver and the transmitter kind of disconnect but I do have the microphone on with the little uh, wind blocker and I actually have my fan on I'm standing right under my um, ceiling fan on super high so I usually can hear this when I'm like doing live streams or I'm recording and there's something in the background I can hear it so I wanted you guys to see can you hear it with this so let me go ahead and take the wind muff off all right, and again, the wind muff is off, but with it being this small, you're not really going to get that much of a block, but it should make your words a little bit more crisp and clear. And honestly, I've been playing with this for a while and I love, I'm in love with the sound from the transmitter, from the um, wireless microphone sets. I've had a lot of lapel mics. I've actually used a lot of Movo's equipment and this by far is my favorite right now. Okay, and so this is the audio just from the cell phone. You still see the lapel mic on me, but I do have um, the receiver off. So that is in my hand if it's not plugged into your phone. It is not going to work even if it's still showing that it's paired. So again, I am right underneath my ceiling fan. It is on super high. I can hear it. So you may be able to pick this up a little bit more now that I don't have this in and it's not coming from the lapel mic to show you the difference of audio quality with just the cell phone because again these are just cell phones versus with the lapel mic on there and like I said I can definitely tell the difference and I love how crisp and clean the audio sounds from the lapel mic. <laughs> All right, just to confirm, I just put that back in there and it literally connected. I don't know what was going on yesterday. I don't know if it was just in the area I was in, it was making it really hard for these two to connect, but it was not connecting to save my life, but it seems to be working perfectly fine now. But I did want to just show you because I did not show the difference of what it looks like when I just hold my cell phone because my cell phone image actually gets really, really shaky. I do have a stabilizer in there, but I have to turn off HD filming. So I'd rather have a higher definition, although you you should have stability um, but I just have it with the phone mount and the um, smart grip I love the smart grip I love how it fills my hand and so this is just walking normally um, there was some shakiness yesterday if I kind of walk back and forth but you're gonna see that it is a lot better than if I just hold my cell phone okay so I took it off this is the setup I had again you guys it just feels so nice so clean in hand but you should be able to see more shaky because it's in my hand. This kind of creates kind of a stabilizer, kind of a gimbal fill without it being a gimbal. Again, making it a really budget-friendly option to you. Um, but I can already see <laughs> peripherals that, that the background is a lot shakier than when I was using this. It just really grips it on there. And your hand just like, I you just need to get one. <laughs> like I cannot explain how well this feels in the hand. Okay, so I'm filming this on my Canon G7X Mark III. It is on the tripod stand with the extender and the ball mount. Um, so I have this in my hand. Just some final thoughts on this. I have used, you guys, a ton of different types of vlogging setups, phone camera setups. I mean, I've used mobile products before. I've used other brands before. And this by far has to be one of the sturdiest kits that I have seen. I mean, other than the fact that I was kind of thrown off that it came separately, usually when I purchase a kit, it comes together in a kit. So the fact that it came in separate boxes, but that also tells me that maybe if something happened, I'm not sure, <laughs> these are sold separately. So if I needed to replace a part, maybe I broke the leather strap or the hand grip, maybe I wanted to get a different receiver, I can go ahead and purchase those separately versus paying for an entire kit all over again. So that's something, but as a consumer, if it says kit, I would like to see it come together. And that's probably the only downfall that I had to this. Other than that, like I love how discreet it was. Again, I was out on the strip yesterday and I'm still a person after three and a half years that gets intimidated when it comes to vlogging in public. But I felt so confident in this because I felt I didn't have this on there because it was during the day and my phone picked up light pretty well. But even with the um, mic, 
I felt comfortable vlogging in public. It didn't seem like this huge cage and huge setup. So if you are a little bit more intimidated and you're not comfortable vlogging in like public, this is gonna be great for you because it's discreet, it is super small, and people aren't even going to pay attention to what you're doing. And again, being in such a public place like that where it's really busy, having this strap on here felt really nice. I knew it wasn't going anywhere. I was able to just comfortably hold it if it swung a little bit and it held my phone really well so if anybody ended up bumping into me again it wasn't going to pop off and like my phone was going to fall the other thing is i'm a person who tends to just naturally drop my phone a lot which is why i have one of these ring holders um but i did have to take my case off not because the case would not fit into this but because this won't fit on there all the way with the case so if you see and that just could be my case um it fits in there but it doesn't connect all the way and it pops out super easy so you will have to take your case off i know not a lot of people care about that that's something that i care about and i always check so that's something to keep in mind as well but again the versatility of this the fact that i can go from filming with my phone with my camera with a switch of just like the bottom if i wanted to do a quick tripod if i wanted to hold it if i wanted to hold my camera with a soft grip and then do my phone on the tripod like there's so many possibilities and i don't think i've seen another vlogging kit like this that is so versatile with the different options that you had so those are my final thoughts if you are looking to start a lifestyle vlogging channel you definitely want to get something like this it is very budget friendly i know it may be pricey to some people but for everything you get and the fact that most of the wireless microphone just the microphone by itself starts at 75 dollars or up like that in itself is a budget so if you're interested in getting this i will leave it down in the description box below with my affiliate link so you guys can check that out if you do get it let me know in the comments how you feel or let me know what you're currently using to vlog on also if you're looking to start your lifestyle vlogging channel in 2021 check out this video right here i have all the tips to help you get started for success right now but get out there make some content buy one of these to make your life easier and let's grow together